Okay. All right. Hello, everyone. Good evening. If you can hear me, give me a thumbs up. Anyone? Farah, hello. Kak Jiha, Rasid, how are you? April, thanks for being here. Hi, Vivian. Ross. Ross, why are you doing at work? <laughs> you can say something. Oh, what, say can, what can I say? Am I being mute? mute? Yeah, okay, fine. Okay, I'm not being muted. Okay. You want to go home first? Are you I can't. I can't. I can't. It's no. okay. I, I, I can. I can do it. I can. I, I'm still. Wow. Okay. No, no. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to. I'm. Uh, I'm on a call. Oh. Oh, you're on a call also. Oh, you're in this. No, call. no, no, no. <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, okay. Medication. Uh. Anyway, we try to keep this uh, quick and fast. Okay. Quick and fast. Same thing lah. Quick and good. Okay. Let me just bring this up a bit. Right, shall we get started? It will three. Okay. First of all, let me check whether this is the right topic for today. Right or not, you guys? Yes? Abba Nasir, is this the right topic? <laughs> I mean, you think a bit. Okay. Yeah, this is the topic for today. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. Uh, every one of us here is well and good, I hope. Making time on a midweek. Thank you so much. Now, how do you ensure long-term success in exercising? Now, many of us, when we want to start exercising, we are so motivated, so have that feeling of gung ho in us. But after one two, three weeks, what's going to happen? So most of us, when we are doing our exercises at a high intensity over and over again for one, two, three weeks, we get burnt out, right? We have the motivation, but we it fizzles out after a while. So the goal of this uh, workshop slash uh, lecture is to share with you how do you keep on exercising over and over again. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, put your questions in the chat box. Yeah. All right. Okay. So for those of you who want some high quality notes, it's at gurufinance.com forward slash notes. All right. So many of us, when we want to start exercising, we may have baggage behind us. As in like we have issues, we have our problems, we have excuses, we have reasons, we have justifications of, about not exercising. So what, what we want is to crystallize our thoughts and try to find solutions for each and every one of these issues and reasons that you have so that you keep on exercising daily as much as you can. And now when I say daily, it does not mean you go high, hardcore kind of exercises all the time. It is when you exercise on some days that are of high intensity and some days of low intensity. Yeah? And this low intensity one can even be recovery kind of exercises like deep stretches, yoga, uh, stretches, not the power yoga, not the endurance kinds of yoga, but more of the relaxing ones, the ones that opens, opens up the chest, that lengthens out the hips, those kind of exercises, yeah? And what is this? I don't seem to lose weight. Like Some of the reasons that we have is when we exercise, we don't see results. So if you don't see results, we tend to shy away from it, like your program. But the correct thing to do, as you know, is not to quit but to tweak yeah and we'll talk about it in this workshop here yeah? okay and yeah i told you guys just now if you have issues with only exercising only for a short while and then stop 
this is something that you need to have in your toolbox, the skills. Yeah? For those of you who have not seen me before, a quick one, I think everyone here knows me. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I am Coach Sham, and I have a fair bit of experience training some people. And throughout the years, we have seen quite a fair bit of results. You can see Ross here. <laughs> you see your photo there? <laughs> oh, no, I'm not showing my screen, is it? Let me... Yeah, okay, <laughs> that's, that's rough, so I can see. Okay, now before that, let me just go back and to show the start. Yeah, this is the starting page. It's a presentation. Apologies, huh? if, you are, if I'm talking, talking about a particular slide and it's not showing, please let me know. Me and tech, you know, I'm very good with tech. That's why I forget this thing. <laughs> yeah, I do forget at times. Okay. <clears throat> these are the stumbling blocks we talk about this over and over again let me just remind you if you find that something is too difficult if you find that you have no discipline no motivation no time no results not being patient you have injuries and because of this you're not exercising you're not moving forward towards your goal you need to find solutions for them if you cannot find solutions for them yourself you need to find a partner you need to find a a tribe you need to find a coach that helps you find solutions for for you to move forward. Many people get a personal trainer, get a coach, and they just push, 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 push with the stumbling blocks being there. And because of this, many of them don't, uh, cannot move forward on their own because they are always relying on someone. Now, relying on someone to make yourself better is good, but not if you have a stumbling block in front of you. Now, why do I say this? I talked about, you, uh, about this a few times already. Even the top, the top tennis players, the top badminton players, the best football players, every one of them have a coach. And why they have a coach is because they need to get better. They need to have tactics and strategies that keep on changing. So if you're on your own, I would strongly recommend you consider getting someone to be in your journey. It will save you time. It will save you money over the long run because you don't have to undo all the things that, uh, that has been negatively impacting your life. Right? And you're going to be much, much happier over the long term. Okay. Am I showing the right screen? <laughs> Let me, can you see my screen, guys? Yeah? Okay. Thank you. Let me just start again and see whether I'm showing the right screen or not. Desktop one, yeah, okay. All right, learning is 70% output. Gentle reminder, please share whatever you, you learn, not only with the time that we are spending and investing right now, but also beyond this. Whatever that you're learning, you need to be sharing if you want to be good in those strategies, in those kinds of lessons that you have just uh, absorbed yeah because to make it stick to make it a part of you you need to constantly be talking about it and this is the reason why my vips thank you for being here uh, the reason why we have our family chat group is because i want things to be reminded uh like i want you to be reminded of the methods that we we work we have so that you get better and better yeah because if you are wrong, if with the wrong crowd, with the wrong tribe, wrong circle, you will be talking about other things also. Now, nothing wrong with being in a group that talks about ice cream all the time. Okay, I wish <laughs> I wish they have a group with, that talks about the different types of ice cream that we can eat. Okay, it is okay. But if you constantly are in that group, you don't you don't think about self development. You don't think about uh, how to eat and be healthy and be fit and lose the inches, then you will be in trouble. So make sure that you're, you, have, you are in the right tribe, you have the right circle of uh, people that want you to improve. Okay, want you to improve. And VIPs, thank you so much for uh, being there for everyone else. Yeah? Those not in the VIPs, those not my clients, it is uh, also my message to you is also the same. If you have not or you do not have a group that is constantly thinking about success in health, please consider find one. If you want to uh, talk about how you can get into our program, let me know, yeah? Let me know. Okay, please like, subscribe, and share if I post this video online. Now, I'm not streaming it anymore. 
because I find that whenever I stream, nobody comes into the Zoom. So we are going to just uh, keep into the Zoom call. Now, to lose weight, exercising is only one, one part of the equation. There's many other things that you need to know. You need to have the skills, knowledge, and abilities. Again, I'm reminding you over and over again, Coach Sham is always repeating and nagging about these things. Yes, he is. And that is uh, his goal, okay? To keep on reminding you this over and over again, okay? But it gets shorter and shorter. So that's enough for now. If you need more details on this, let me know. For those of you, I think every one of us here already have uh, downloaded this. If you need, if you need some kind of recipes on how to get uh, better quality food, feel free to go to this website, uh, this links here, bodythrive.co forward slash low carb recipes, plant based recipes, high protein recipes. You can get them for free. So please feel free to go and download simple curry chicken with saffron rice. I hope at home someone is cooking this for me right now. Mm. Okay, next. <laughs> Let's start with the first one. How to ensure long-term success in exercising. Okay. How many of you guys, okay, I know that the screen, you can already see what's on the screen, but how many of you guys right now are finding it challenging to do any kind of exercise more than one month? Can you uh, put in the chat group, please? Uh, chat box. I'm just going to open up my chat box here. Anyone? Okay. Kajiha, hi. Why do you say it hurts? Did I say something wrong? <laughs> Sorry about that. If I did. So, I, there's no one saying anything about having issues and challenges. Oh, <laughs> ice cream. There's, there's no one talking about issues and challenges in their journey to exercise, right? So everyone is exercising every single day. If you are not exercising every single day, feel free to put in the uh, chat group, uh, chat, yeah, in the group chat, sorry, chat group, group chat in the Zoom. Now, the key, thank you, Abhan Hasid, that's good, 30 to 35 minutes a day, everyone's exercising, that's good. Now, whenever, wherever we are in our journey, even if you're an advanced or intermediate level, if you find yourself stuck, always go back to small. Can? Always go back to small. I start with advanced and intermediate because I'm, ex I'm looking at you guys. Nobody is saying that you have issues in exercising. So I'm guessing you guys are already up there, which is super good, which is super good. So feel, yeah. So feel free to always start small if you find yourself uh, struggling to move forward. If you go on holiday, if you are intermediate and advanced, there is usually that that nagging feeling or neg that 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 thought in your mind that you are you are on holiday, you should not exercise. Should you or should you not exercise? You should, yeah. Especially when you go holiday, because I'm guessing when you go holiday, you want to eat, right? You want to makan. You want to, uh, yeah. You want to makan. You enjoy. And if you don't exercise on that day. What's going to happen? You have to make up, make up for it after two weeks, after three weeks. So if people like me who likes to go for three weeks, four weeks, what's going to happen? I will struggle like crazy when I come back. Yeah? And this is the reason why I always uh, tell you guys, always make sure that your exercises that you do are doable. You can always start small again. For beginners, don't even think about doing a full one hour exercise. Okay? Go for 30 minutes. Okay, and then you can go further, more longer and longer duration, right? Uh, any kind of movement is good movement. Yep, you can start by committing yourself to doing 10 minutes of exercise three days a week. Super, super good. And how you do this is, firstly, put inside your calendar. Put inside, for me, I use my Google app. I put inside three times a week and that timing is blocked. Your thoughts and your energy on doing the things that you like to do. Okay, you like to do. And right now, what is it? Focus on what you love about you right now. Okay, so same, 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 but different. Right? If you like to run, go for your run. If you like to brisk walk, go for your brisk walk. If you like to gym, go for your gym. Because this will ensure long-term success in exercising. So when I say focus on that, 
it is for those who are always struggling to start exercising or restart exercising. Yeah. And when I say focus what, on what you love about you right now, okay, it's important to love yourself now be, for who you are because sometimes you reach your goal and still not raise yourself. So this is uh, it's about self-efficacy, right? Uh, maybe not so much self-efficacy, but it's about confidence and giving yourself that pat on the back and giving yourself that reward. Uh, in not in the sense of ice cream. Okay, I'm going to disturb Kat Jiha again. Who've lost quite a fair bit of weight really. <laughs> so it is not about rewarding that per se. It's just those minute tap on the back. Because sometimes when you do a particular exercise for 10 minutes, you find that it is a waste of time. Like I'm not sweating so much. I just, you know, uh, carve myself out from doing something that's more fun. And I've just succeeded in just this 10 minutes and it's not worth my effort. No, you must always be happy with what you have done. Only with that, you will be able to develop higher levels of self-efficacy, self-confidence, self-belief. Right? Self-efficacy is the belief in yourself to be able to do this over the long term. So you need to focus on being grateful. Yeah, the gratitude part. Yeah. Uh, make one change at a time. Look at your schedule and establish the modest changes to your routine. Keep them small and achievable so you'll be motivated by your daily victories. So make sure that you keep them small and achievable. There are times that you may want to make it difficult. You want to make it challenging. You can. You can, but don't do it all the time if you know it will not ensure long-term success. Whenever you exercise, like my clients who come to my group exercise classes, right, you guys, some of you, I always say what? Your goal today, exercise with me, is for you to be able to walk in the next two, three days time, correct? And the reason is because many of us work out too hard today and we make too many changes from our last, uh, last session and it's so hard and because of that, we don't last long because we'll be scared of the next session that's to come and we don't turn up. Yeah? So keep, uh, your, uh, keep to modest changes in your routines. And at any point in time, like those who come for my workout, I told you guys, you are allowed to stop anytime. You are allowed to regress. You are allowed to even take a break without asking for a break, like you, in the middle of a set. So you are allowed to do that. But the condition is this. Make sure that you work hard in that set first. You feel you're okay, then go forward. Okay, then go forward for towards your rest. Okay. Any questions on this, guys? I think I'm going a bit fast because I'm not asking a question. So if any questions, let me know. Vivian, one to two hours a uh, daily. Wow, that's that's super good that you have the time for it. Yeah. Uh, but if you can get the benefits of exercising with less than one hour, you may want to consider that because at any point in time, you must always consider the factors that will make you better in terms of efficiency, productivity. So you can be exercising for two hours and reaping the same benefits as you doing exercises that is doable in let's say 30 minutes. Yeah? Imagine how much time you'll save in a month. If you save one and a half hours every single day, times it by 30 days, that's 45 hours saved. That's about two full days you are, you are saving. But then again, depends on the type of exercise that you do. So if you enjoy it, please go ahead. Yeah, that's just my suggestion. Okay. Uh, Sasku, Sari, how are you? Yeah, you say you don't exercise every day, off day, really rest day. Yeah, you can rest, you can rest every other day. That's good. Right, Farah said, time, work commitment, so need to do short exercise, super, super. Yeah, many people say that they are busy and because of that, they don't exercise, right? So this is good. Yeah. <laughs> Marah said, makan during holiday. Ross, Ross, I know you exercise during your holidays with your... Uh, what is the baju butterfly in English? Oh, <laughs> I said it. <laughs> you see, uh, this is what we call commitment, no? Some of my uh, clients, really, most of them, most of you guys are now who are listening right now. You guys, whenever you send photos of like, you guys exercising in your home clothes and all that, right? For us, laughing. And then you inspire me to do the same. That's why I've been, I shared some exercise with me doing my with my sarong. And then now what? Usas, I'll do it also, right? Now I didn't have a chance to read all that 
I don't know what happened between Farah and <laughs> in that chat. Is it you, Farah? <laughs> Disturbing Ustaz Azunit. <laughs> yeah. So we, uh, we, 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 whatever that we are wearing, we can exercise in. Yeah. And I also know some of you guys uh, wear minimum clothes to exercise. The reason is because hey, I I'm in the toilet. I realized that I, I did not exercise today. And because of that, I'll do 20 squats, right? Anyone? Anyone uh, not guilty of this? <laughs> Ross, <laughs> why? <laughs> why you tell the world? <laughs> anyway, that shows dedication, sis. You are super, super, yeah. Farah, Kaftan. Oh, Kaftan is a glam fashion name. Okay, okay. Not Sarong, ah. <laughs> okay, I have not seen the group chats from yesterday. I think like 300 messages i i have to catch up i missed out on all the fun last yesterday next up let's talk about fear now fear of working out yourself is one thing and then fear of going to the gym is another how many of us are fearful of the gym guys i mean putting covid period aside nobody is fearful yeah yeah, Kak Jiha squats while shampooing. Thank you for sharing. Let's make sure that your shampoo don't get into your eye. Eyes. <laughs> okay, so anyone has fear of going to the gym? No, this is good. So I can go this go go beyond this slide. Okay, very quickly. So for, for those of you who may be shy or just watching and not in the in Zoom right now, if you find that you are shying away from the gym because you are scared that of the machines, you are fearful of what people think of the exercises that you do, right? Or basically, you just don't want to go because of the intimidation from even looking at yourself in the mirror because sometimes that can happen, right? Yeah, you don't want to look at yourself in the mirror and all that. You need to find solutions for them, okay? You need to find solutions for these problems, these issues. If you yeah, if you, because the gym is a place where the equipment, the heavy equipment are. If you have equipment at home, good. One more thing about, uh, about the gym and maybe slightly better than home exercises and home equipment is this. You have a buddy there. In case something happens, which I hope it will never happen, but in case something happens, there's people around. Okay, I'll give you an example. When I exercise in my fitness studio here alone, I'm always very careful because my fitness studio is a personal training studio. It's a very small, cozy place. And when I exercise, I'm very fearful and very careful with the weights because if I drop it over my head or if I get into cardiac arrest, there's no one that will help me. Yeah? So this is why you also at home, please do be careful. Not only at home, even if you go to the park, you go to the... I want to say beach and go for your run, make sure there are people around you. Okay? Make sure there are people around you because the least they can do is call 995. Right? For those of us who have CPR or are certified, certified, CPR certified, the first thing that we do is what? Do you remember? We see someone lying down on the ground unconscious. You know? Tap, tap, right? Hello, hello, are you okay? Step number one. If you don't do this, you straight away call 995. Ambulance is going to be unhappy with you if he wakes up. So make sure that he is really unconscious. Okay, then you call 995. So at least someone will say, hello, hello, how are you okay? Call 995, even though they cannot do CPR on you. Yeah? And if you're all by yourself, make sure, that you've, make sure that you use lighter weights and do all the exercises that are safe. So for, my, for me, my solution, I have this little fear. I mean, it's a different kind of fear, not the fear that I'm scared to go to the gym. But the fear of exercising in case something happens to me, what I do is I open my door so that people who are walking can hear me. Or if I'm stuck with the weight, I can shout, help, help, okay? help me get out of this crazy equipment. So build up your comfort level. Build up your comfort level. And when you are in the gym, make sure that when you are... When you are in the gym, make sure that you find something that you can continue. Uh, this is your room idea. Oh, you can continue doing over and over again. Yeah? I'll give you an example. If the first thing 
no if if you feel that the weight section is intimidating don't do weights ah go to the gym just do your cardio exercises go for your brisk walk even though i find that it's better to go outside but at least you you get yourself acquainted to the environment you know and people will start smiling at you by the way people at the gym if you don't know them there is a low chance that they will smile at you so yeah sometimes we feel uh, intimidated because people are not smiling at us there are many reasons ah huh? uh, two reasons what i can think of right now is this the number one reason is they are tired people who are tired usually don't smile secondly they don't know you if they don't know you they will not smile how <laughs> unless they want to get to know you ah uh, so you know back then in 1998 let me see I was in a mega I was working as a junior trainer in a mega gym and one I took my certification in uh, fitness and one of the questions one of the questions that came out was a multiple choice question the number one reason this was back then huh? the number one reason people exercise at the gym is you choose huh? number one to get fit this is a b to get let's say uh, to spend time away from home and c to socialize you know what's the answer back then in 1998 it was to socialize yeah but now it is not so it's a different ball game altogether for those of you who remember somerset uh, there was a gym california uh, ray wilson's california fitness center uh, that was at somerset and those running on the treadmill and you walk outside they can you can see them all exercising right so that concept alone shows you know like shows that is a very social social thing that they have going on there i was working there and it was a good place uh, for me to start but after 3 months i left and i went on my own <laughs> all right find something that you can stick with this you must take it with a pinch of a uh, piece of salt uh, don't don't go a hardcore on doing something that you can stick with all the time because it may not bring you forward towards your goals so please remember that if you want to do your to get to your goals you need to always uh, make sure that the exercises you do are correct perfect practice makes perfect okay if you have not written that down somewhere write it down perfect practice makes perfect now that doesn't mean that you need to do perfect all the time so what do i mean by this is if you uh are someone who wants to put a basketball in the hoop okay put basketball in the hoop right to score a two point or a three pointer right if you don't do it perfectly you are just practicing right you just hit the ball you hit the side you're practicing you're practicing you're practicing after one year of doing that practicing but aimlessly do you think you'll get good at putting the ball into the ring into the hoop no so this is what i mean by perfect practice makes perfect so your exercises even if let's say you are doing your squats with half range of motion it is good form that's good but you must work towards making it perfect so that you can reap the benefits of it by going deep into your squats with zero risk of injury yeah, and usually why uh, how we get there is by having someone with us in our journey a partner a buddy a coach or a team with us yeah and because if you are on your own you can you can but there's always a limitation there's always a limitation my clients were with me by the way the spartan t-shirt here trifecta it is shout out to sunil thank you always giving me all these t-shirts he's been with me for more than 12 years and after one year over the two years usually we say we don't need a coach anymore right but why does he keep on having a coach with him the reason is because when he's alone he knows that he hits his max at 100% correct everyone has 100% yeah but what if we want to overload slightly more and get better in that sense you need someone with you to manage the risk if let's say you're going for your dumbbell press and all you need someone to spot you right you need someone to check your form when you're doing deadlift which by the way you cannot check your uh, your form when you're doing deadlift ever 
unless you are just standing up, right? Because when you are checking your form and you're doing a deadlift, when you are doing the hinge, you are flexing the neck and it is not neutral. So you need to make sure that there's a body with you if you want to level up. And that is how you move forward. Just look at all the athletes that once you get better, they only have someone with them in their journey. Okay. Plan out your mornings. A little bias here, but this bias is, uh, I feel is a good kind of bias. Let me just... The reason is this. How many of us, how many of us don't believe that our willpower is endless, boundless willpower? Like we have the discipline, we have the energy, and we think that, no, I've got will, strong willpower throughout my whole day. No? All of us have limited willpower. Some of us has more. Some of us have a, more, a higher level of resistance of uh, willpower that doesn't drop very fast. Some of us have a willpower like very on in the morning. Like you wake up in the morning, like, oh, I'm going to work out later on in the evening and all. But then when you start working, when the load starts piling up and you sit down, thinking and doing your accounts or <laughs> doing some lawyer work or anything like that. <laughs> it's a lot of things going on in your mind, right? There's a lot of things in your mind. And because of this, your willpower drops. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with others. We are human beings. And research show that willpower is limited. It is limited. Of course, those who plow through it, which I can see some of you guys Every time you come to me, you are so tired. That is super. I really salute you. I told you, right? Whenever you are tired at the end of the, your day, you come and see me. That is really amazing, an amazing feat. Now, if you want to make things easier, even though you are not a morning person, now I'm not a morning person, but when I shifted my workouts in the morning, for those of you who are now doing it in the evening, I wake up slightly earlier, do my workouts, get it out of the way. Not that it's a bad thing, but when you start in the morning, your testosterone level goes up, your endorphin level goes up, right? Your insulin levels drop, you feel good, your heart rate goes up to start your day. Yeah? And usually, for those of you who don't exercise in the morning, how do you actually bring up your heart rate? How do you wake up? Tell me. Put in the chat group, uh, chat box. Nobody wake up? Workshop le, not lecture. If it's in person, I will arrow. No. Uh, kind of a bit lazy. Yes, I understand. Yeah. I want to say, I know. Like, lazy, right? When you wake up in the morning, you don't feel like doing anything. Yeah? Why don't you start slow? Eh? Start slow. Start slow. Most of us, when we wake up, we want to have that perk up. We will, we will drink coffee. We will have our caffeine. Right? We will have our tea to just put us up. And that is the, the way that many of us uh, uh, have that energizer. Yeah? Kajia, well done. Wake up, wake up at 5 a.m. Even uh, Claire, right? Claire, are you, are you with us still? Yeah. Wake up very early in the morning. Claire, can you say something? Leh? Yeah. Claire, uh, Kajia and Claire, can you just put whew, 5 o'clock in the morning? Okay, for those of us who cannot brain this, huh, cannot comprehend how they do it, uh, my suggestion is this, think about it, how you can sleep one hour earlier. Okay, If you want to reap the benefits of getting your hormones at a good start point early in the morning, give this a go. Yeah? Again, I said this is a bias thing. Sometimes I don't, work out, uh, I don't work out in the morning. I always put in my ref, I shared with you guys, that I work out at 8 o'clock, at 9 o'clock, but still as early as possible. So it depends on your timing. Make it doable for you. Yeah. For us, 6.45. Well done. Okay. Uh, okay, anyone keeps going? Yeah, Claire, thank you. Yeah, it keeps you going, right? It keeps you going. Now, for some of us who say that, oh, yo, it's not going to be easy. It is not going to be easy if you've never done it before. So start with five minutes. Okay. Yeah, work out when uh, walking to work. You do lunges, not Ustaz Kusari. <laughs> Lunch to the MRT station. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so that's my suggestion. Give it a go. Five minutes, ten minutes. A body at rest will stay at rest unless a 
a force acts upon it. I think that's Newton's law. And it is true, like you are sleeping, you stay at rest unless a force acts upon it. And the force is actually you and your willpower. Wake up, wash your face, start by doing a few squats, do five, do ten. You don't think about the whole hour. And once your heart rate goes up, your endorphin level goes up, then you find that you want to do a bit more and more. Your workout in the morning need not be a hard one. Okay? Again, you don't need to do this. This is just my suggestion. Give it a go if you want to, you want to feel better. Right? Yeah, it will. You have to make this a habit if you want to make it happen. Again, like I told you, why not you aim for five minutes only? Those of you who have issues with this, this is my challenge for you. When you wake up, same time. Wake up, same time. Do five squats. Okay? That's your exercise in the morning. For the rest of July. August, 10 squats every morning. Can. And? September, double that. Eh? Yeah, double that. 20 every morning. October, you'll be doing 40 every morning. By the end of the year, you'll be doing 100 every morning. Good, right? You start with five. See? The power of habit. Save up your time. Um, advanced prepping can eliminate decisions such as what you're going to dress or eat, freeing up time to actually access. Yeah, yeah. So, um, plan ahead. Plan ahead, like I told you. Wake up slightly earlier or perhaps prepare all your stuff beforehand. Especially, like for me, I don't know why. Okay, I am not vain, right? You all know I'm not vain, right? <laughs> I was like, I'm not, okay? But I always have problems in the morning to find my t-shirt. And today, I came up with this. <laughs> Five minutes, huh? All are the same. Black t-shirt, blue t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, but uh, if I had prepared last night, I can just wake up and just do the exercise. Or, you know, prepare, mentally prepare. Wake up in your baju butterfly, your pajamas and do <laughs> Your five squats, your ten squats, your kind, your, your, what? Kaftana. Kaftana. Uh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's uh, move on. Wow, time flies. I look beyond weight loss. Forget the term weight loss. Exercise for the health benefits that are unrelated to it. You'll start to associate. You start. To associate, to associate being active with pleasure. Many of us always look at the scale. It is okay to look at the scale. It is okay. And if it has been doing good, like if it has worked for you by looking at the scale and you get better and better, your body changes and you feel motivated, go. Go ahead and do that. Not a problem. Okay, let me see how many in the VIP. Okay, but VIPs, you all know our method is different. Huh? So this is for the general public. If looking at the scale works, please use that, right? So I'm telling that now I say that about my clients who are in the VIP, I tell them don't look at the weight because I want them to look at progress photos. And this is why taking selfies is good. Taking selfies, not the... How are... Oh, Ken, Ken, I'm not disturbing anyone, I hope. Is Farah doing that thing, is it? <laughs> you can, but make sure that you see your whole body, front, Side, back, those kind of selfies, okay? And then make sure that you check the progress against those photos. Let's say every week or every month, go ahead and do that, yeah? Do it for yourself, do it for yourself instead of... Yeah, let me see what is a better way to say it, put it. Ah, put it as a priority. That means if you find that every morning you need to go to work to find income, now you need to exercise to find health. Let me just put it another way. For those of you who want to lose weight, wake up every morning so that you can find back your waist. Sweet, easy. For the gentlemen or even for the ladies who want to get stronger, wake up every morning so that you can find your muscles back again. Right? Do it for you, not about just losing weight. Okay? 
expect to fall. Uh, there will be times that we fail and it is normal. There will be times which we might get injured, which we don't want. We might with a big M-I-G-H-T. Uh, you need to make changes to your plan if that happens. Okay. Other ways to do it, uh, other, other examples, sorry, other examples are you plan to exercise in the morning and then something came about. The thing about morning exercise is this, it's very hard. If it becomes a habit, it's very hard for anyone to disturb that time slot because in the evening, if you plan to do your workout in the evening, in the day, in the course of the day, your friend might say, hey, let's go for drinks after this. Let's go for supper. Let's go for no supper. Let's go for dinner. Maybe Ross will go for supper at this time. <laughs> ah, no, don't. Uh, wait. Coming back to this, I always disturb Ross today. Uh. today I'm not disturbing Farah enough. <laughs> so, training in the evening might have its own challenges, and you, the earlier you do your workout, usually the time slot will be open. Yeah, we start school. I know, Ross. I know. Thank you. I just disturbed you only. Don't be angry at me, okay? I'll see you next week for training, PT. I'll make it up to you. Okay. Ustaz Ku said, no, how to know which weight is shown uh, healthy? How to know uh, if it, whether it's muscles or fat? Okay. So, uh, let's go back to the last slide. Uh, this is why I say that we don't look at weight. Like, for me right now, uh, I just share. I'm... I'm I got no one else to uh, talk about. So as an example, I, I share about me. Okay, I hope you don't mind. For me, I want to increase my weight. The reason is this, because I want to increase my muscle mass. Yeah. It's hard for a lady to understand that why would anyone wants to increase muscle mass usually? Yeah. Hard to offer them to understand because they've a lot of them or even the, even the men, when we think about getting and looking healthier and better is all about the weight, weight loss. So this is the reason why. So I want to increase my weight because I want my muscle mass to go up because muscles weigh more than fat. Muscles weigh more than fat. And when my muscles goes up, when muscles goes up, my metabolism will increase. Okay. And how do I know is there's a few ways to do it. The easiest way right now, I said progress photo. You look at your waist. You look at your waist. The bigger the waist, the more fat you have, the wider the waist, yeah? Unless you can find muscles around the waist. Huh? <laughs> that's your core, that's inside. Yeah, it's hard to grow, yeah? So, right, right. You can see that the, the waist is a very good indicator. The glutes, the, the butt, right, is a way to measure, but depends. If you do lots of squats, it will get bigger. I'm talking about heavy weighted squats. If you do thousands of squats in a day, it will not get bigger, okay? Because it's not hypertrophy. So, how uh, the next thing to check whether it's muscle or fat is by this is thing called a pinch test. Pinch test, yeah. So you can pinch your waist and see the distance, and then you use a fat caliper to measure. Yeah. And another way to measure is by using BIA machines, bioelectric impedance machine, where you know uh, you just hold it. And then it will measure the percentage of your fat, measure the percentage of muscles. Okay, so that's uh, some of the ways with SASCO. Okay, let's uh, move on to this. Like, expect to fail and identify the problems so that you will not fail so often, not fall so often. And when you fall, make sure that you are ready with the solutions here. Always remember, whenever you fall, Go back to small. Wow, oh, it rhymes. Say it with me. Whenever you fall, go back to small. <laughs> Never mind. Between week three and week four is a classic time when people quit. And these are for those who are beginners. Always make sure that you reward yourself so you'll be inspired to keep going so that you, uh, you can buy a new workout outfit, for example. Yeah, always give yourself a kind of a reward. Now, buying yourself new equipment is something that is very positive because now you have your new, uh, your new T-shirt, your, your new, I don't know, for the ladies, sports bra and all, you feel that, hey, you already invested, you will keep on pushing and moving forward. That's one thing good. The other way to reward is, of course, by food. 
and it is okay, but we know it is bad. Hold on. It is okay, but we know that when we exercise and we reward ourselves with the food that we love, we feel that it is fair and it is motivating to us. So it depends on your kind of reward. I personally feel, I prefer it to be an exercise equipment or maybe a more posh gym membership or maybe perhaps get a better trainer. GuruFitness.com, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> It depends. Your reward must push you forward. Okay? Push forward. All right. That's the last one. So, a gentle reminder. These are the ways that you should be doing to ensure long-term success in exercising in your workouts. Yeah? At any point in time, Whenever there is a challenge, whenever you don't have any time, you have any kind of injury, hold on, you have any kind of injury, uh, you feel lazy, you feel tired, whatever it is, make sure that you always go back to small. Now, I said just now about injury. I'm taking a pause because I don't want to offend anyone. Uh, I, do, I do acknowledge that having an injury is very annoying and it can get very you can we can get very emotional because it's a hindrance moving forward so this is something that you need to do if you're injured number one get yourself fixed that's it don't wait for it to get fixed because you know you can fix it right unless it's a very very serious injury still you can fix it with surgery which i hope not most of the time we feel pains in the knees is because lack of exercise so your your quadriceps, or, okay, your thigh, your thighs, there's four muscles there, your quadriceps muscles, right? One reason why it hurts is because two, three, or one of those muscles are either stronger than the others or weaker than the others. And because of that, your kneecap gets pulled to one side. And because of that, your alignment goes off, okay? This is general, huh? for those who have not been exercising, that's why your knees are hurting because what some are tight some are weak some are strong some are loose loose as in like weak so you need to make sure that you go for rehab kind of uh training and get it fixed and it's not it doesn't take long it doesn't take long you need to get it fixed then you can move forward okay lower back hurts get it fixed do your stretches do your stretches if one stretch don't work go for another change it up Okay, uh, start small. Uh, oh, yeah, and if you are injured after getting yourself fixed or in the process of getting yourself fixed, you can do other things, right? You can even sit down. If you have knee issues, you can even sit down, take your dumbbells, right? take your dumbbells, even if it's five kgs on the side or even two kgs on the side, and you can do your seated shoulder press. What I don't understand is this. We always give ourselves excuses, and there's only one point. With, with one point, like I'm injured, but it's only the knees. And because of that, I'm not going to do my shoulder exercises. I'm not going to do my chest exercises. Why? Don't let yourself be pulled into this giving excuses uh, game, okay? I'm also reminding myself. <laughs> Some of you guys may know that uh, there was a period of time that I, I hurt my shoulders because I said because I was training myself and I wasn't being, I was mindless. I was mindless. I was rushing for time and all. And because of that, I got injured. So again, it was very emotional for me. But what I did was after one week or two weeks of just moping around, I told myself I got to get back on track. It's like that. You allow yourself to go off track, but come back in quick. Come back in quick. I did rehab exercises. I did all the exercises that I hated to get it fixed. And then now, all good. Yeah? You need to make sure that you overcome the fear of the gym or exercising by yourself. Uh, if you are worried, you don't like to look at yourself in, in a mirror, you need to overcome the fear of that or find solutions to help you or find other alternatives. Yeah? Mornings are best. You can still work out in the evenings, but remember that willpower is, uh, is limited. And for those of you who, of course, when you have a personal trainer or you have a group session that you train with your buddies, 
no choice with train in the evening, that is perfectly fine. What I'm asking is this per cup in the morning. This per cup in the morning, okay? Look beyond your weight loss, not only about the scale, it's also about the energy behind it. Uh, you, look, you look at the productivity levels that you can achieve with your higher levels of fitness. You look at your progress photos, look beyond the, the uh, weighing scale and expect to make mistakes, expect to fall. All right. For those of you who have not done the assessment, you want to lose weight and you have not done the assessment, I would like to invite you, do up the free assessment and you will find out which areas are the ones that's pulling you back in terms of having a, a fitter, stronger body and of course, a smaller waistline. Yeah? GuruFitness.com forward slash assessment. And remember that exercising is only 4% of your day if you exercise for one hour. Yeah? And how can that one hour make changes to your body? If you don't utilize the whole of your 96%, other 96% to get better. Okay. All right. All right, for some of you guys who want to know more or would like me to come over to your, your place, your companies, I do lectures, I do fitness programs, I do group fitness training and even personal fitness training. So feel free to send me a message if you want to ask and inquire about some of the things that I do. These are some of our clients right here. I, didn't, I think I did not talk about this before, but uh, let me just uh, let show off a bit, Ken. <laughs> let's just look at this. Yeah, I was in Shape Magazine for four months. <laughs> and it's a women's magazine. You can look look it up. Uh, January, February, March, and uh, April. But 2009 lah, long time ago. Long time ago. Okay. After that, I stopped. Okay, there are reasons. <laughs> yeah, and, and and a few more. So, if you do in, intend to consider to have me as your coach, uh, I would say that uh, check out on the things that I've done. I don't have much on LinkedIn, but you can just do a Google search and see whether these things are true or not. Okay, next workshop is on Saturday, 11.30 a.m. And for those of you who want to take action to get better, make sure that you do your accountability form, gurufitness.com for its action form. And if you want to, uh, April, could you change this up for the next workshop, please? There's two things here. <laughs> The, the forward slash, gurufitness.com forward slash workshops dash feedback. Okay, this one goes directly to Active SG. Right? Tell them whether I'm doing an okay job or not. Yeah. Okay, I think it's time for us to go. And I would like to thank Sports Singapore, Active SG, for having me and having all of us in this uh, workshop from home, from work, <laughs> from a living room, and yeah, those who are on videos that I cannot see, I don't know where you guys are. Thank you so much for making time, guys, and I'll see you guys on Saturday, okay? Yeah, Saturday, we have more time to chit chat. Lah. All right, have a good day ahead, good night ahead, sleep, re sleep well, seven hours minimum. Okay, I'm also reminding myself. Thank you, you guys, take care. Bye-bye. How do I switch? Bye.